we are very clear that whilst the multicultural nature of the university must be respected, uh, the uniqueness of uh, this university being situated in Jaffna in a, in a Tamil heartland must also be reflected in all its decisions. So in that way, the decision taken by the administration is something that we welcome uh, and we believe that uh, that was the correct decision. Uh, the fact that a decision taken by the administration was violated unilaterally uh, by, by uh, students uh, clearly shows that the students could not have been acting independently. So the investigation teams, whether it's ministers or appointed by the Jaffna University or Grand Commission, they must go deep and see who were behind all these things. There is no point, uh, you know, punishing the Tamil students or the singular students. Who were behind these things? Who were, who, who were manipulated, uh, manipulated these students? Why all these things were happened? In Sri Lanka, there are 17 universities. I think uh, apart from the North and East, the rest of the universities, the majority are singleists. Even in the even in Jaffna in particular, the science faculty, majority students are singleists. Now these universities were created in Jaffna and Batikolo because to give more uh, chances for the Tamil speaking students. The uh, person who actually owned the university premises was Sir Purnamla Brahmanadhan. Uh, in fact, in his, uh, in his will, uh, one of the things that he was very particular about is that the property that, uh, that he owned, when it is being used for a public purpose, must, uh, must, have, must give uh, importance uh, to the uh, cultural element of the uh, Tamil people and, and, to the, uh, and to Jaffna in particular and also had a religious aspect to it. Of course, we don't, uh, we, we don't uh, stress the religious part, but certainly with regards, to the, uh, uh, with regards to the fact that it is in a Tamil majority area where this university uh, is, majority Tamil, uh, is a majority Tamil student uh, body, uh, must have a uniqueness. But what is happening now? Now even in Jaffna and Batikolo, they are, uh, the, those you know, departments are filling with or those faculties are filling with the singular students. Why the government is doing these things? They can give prominence and priority to the Tamil speaking students in the Northeast. The university has uh, announced that they will carry out an inquiry with regards to how the violence broke out. We welcome that move. Uh, and we, uh, we suggest that that inquiry commences immediately so that we get to the bottom of this because we suspect that there are certain racist forces uh, who are behind uh, that, uh, that disturbance that ultimately resulted in violence. So, actually the government, they have to go through these matters. You know, they are speaking a lot about reconciliation process and they are saying, you know, the, the government is doing that and this. But basically, number one, they have to remove the army, they have to remove this military intelligence, they are the people who are behind all these things, and, and the, they, there must be a proper investigation. There is no need to punish the singular Tamil students. They have to see the people who are behind it, and they have to you know, take them, and they have to give the punishment to them. Uh, as far as our party is concerned, uh, the multicultural nature of the university uh, and the very fact that, the, um, that there are multicultural student bodies, uh, members of, uh, of the students uh, um, and their identities should be in some way reflected in the ceremonies that take place is without question. Uh, I think that is the correct way to do things. Uh, and the fact that the Kandyan dancing was included in the itinerary, uh, albeit within the auditorium, we believe was the uh, correct decision to take. The problem actually what we are uh, facing is, you know, the northern, northern east are filled with the army personnel or armed forces. They are having their intelligence network. So now these uh, military intelligence, they are using these singular students or they are brainwashing these singular students against the Tamil students and creating problem. Uh, students uh, cannot, uh, certainly in a, in, a, in a vast majority Tamil area, without the backing of some very powerful uh, forces could not have taken this decision uh, uh, by themselves. Uh, we also have very reliable information that the, uh, the equipment for the Kandyan dancers and, and, uh, and they are all, all the uh, 
necessary um, infrastructure uh, uh, facilities was all provided by the military. Uh, so it is quite clear uh, that the notion of uh, this incident being something that was uh, that was a, a racial notion on the part of the Tamil students is unfounded. Uh, and instead, it was it was clearly uh, instigated by external forces, uh, which we suspect to be the military, uh, in order to once again uh, create tensions in such a way that the university will be ordered by the government to completely rid itself of its Tamilness, the fact that it is situated in a Tamil majority area and that it can in some way celebrate that culture uh, which is quite unique uh, to the northeast part of uh, this island. You know the government they themselves. You know there was a Buddhist temple. You know now put it up Sambal Thevar, hundred percent Tamil area. Another Buddhist temple at Mulla Thevar, Kokkulai. There is you know in a private land. Even there was there was a stay order by the courts. Even after that, there is a man who is there is a Buddhist monk. He is still you know he is constructing the Buddhist temple. Why cannot the government stop it? Why cannot the government arrest these people? They are going to do the same thing in Nainadev. They are going to put up 67 feet Buddha statue. Why they want to do it? Because the mental makeup of the single polity, you know, because you know, if you quote Kilnochi, Elephant Pass, Mullati, all other areas, you know, they are having that victorious monuments. They show they want to show it to the single, whether the students or the public, that look, you know, our army, you know, they won the tunnels. That's why, you know, those feelings are still there. So they feel that, you know. All the Tamils, you know, they must be slaves. They must be under them. They should not open their mouth. These cannot, you know, these things cannot be admitted. We are human beings. We belong to this country. We are having the equal rights. We have to, you know, they have to treat us as equal citizens. Otherwise, you know, if the government, if they allow the, uh, you know, these sort of culprits to go ahead with their own agenda, then definitely things will be go in a different track. That should not take place. The government must take rem remedial actions in proper way. Uh, the cause of the clash was uh, disagreement with regards to how to conduct the uh, um, welcoming ceremony. Uh, the Singhali students had uh, taken up the position that the uh, Candian dancing, which is a cultural welcoming dance, uh, should be included uh, in the welcoming ceremony, whereas uh, uh, the uh, university administration uh, had been of the view that uh, uh, the welcoming part of the ceremony where people uh, come from the gate uh, in, uh, uh, in a procession uh, should be according to Tamil uh, cultural uh, sort of rites that are uh, conducted in this part of the uh, uh, island um, uh, and uh, that the Candian dancing shall be uh, accommodated within the auditorium uh, where the uh, event was to take place uh, and that decision was uh, made known to the uh, students uh, uh, and it was agreed that the, uh, uh, the, uh, that the uh, event would uh, take place in a way where the multicultural nature of the students uh, that are present in the Jaffna University will be reflected but at the same time um, that the fact that the university uh, is situated in an area that has certain cultural uniqueness uh, which also must be brought out. So it was on that basis that the uh, welcoming procession was to be according to Tamil uh, cultural um, uh, norms uh, whereas uh, within the auditorium, uh, once everyone is within the auditorium there will be a, a Candian dance uh, uh, to, uh, to encompass and the multicultural nature of the student body. Uh, despite that decision being taken by the um, university authorities, uh, there were some students uh, with the backing of uh, certain external forces that we have come to know as uh, being military intelligence, uh, had, uh, had uh, in total violation of the decisions taken by the university administration, uh, had decided that uh, they were going to uh, include uh, the Kandian dancing from the uh, gate uh, in procession and it was at that stage that there was uh, tension and eventually uh, violence broke out. It's seen by the social media and of course by the singular Buddhist elements in the south 
in a different way. Uh, according to them, the single students were assaulted by the Tamil students at the Jaffna University. So the government, they have to take action on them. Not only that, uh, we had a few students were injured uh, in the incident and one of, one of them was uh, uh, admitted at the, at the National Hospital Kalambu. But the doctor said that, you know, no, he, be, he, he has been released at the moment. But the governor of the Northern Province, he visited him and the higher education minister, he visited him and they met him. And the, today, three ministers came to Yafna. They went to the Yafna University to investigate what is going on. And of course, the Jaffna University appointed three persons to make inquiries into this matter. The Grand Commission Chairman, seven of them, they are going to come and come in Friday to investigate these matters. So, they are giving much more important. The media also giving much more publicity to these incidents. So, I am having few questions. The Tamil students were assaulted in the Eastern University and they were hospitalized. And, uh, you know, not even a single minister visited them. Even the higher education minister or other ministers or, you, you, you know, the Grand Commission, they never bother about those things because the people who were badly injured are the Tamil students. They were... Uh, assaulted by the single students as well as the police personnel, they are in the university. This is not once or twice. Several times these things were took place at the Eastern University. What is also uh, quite notable is the is the fact that there has been one student, the uh, president of the Students Union of Jaffna, who has been arrested. Every information that we have received suggests that the, the president of the Jaffna Students Union uh, was someone who was, uh, who was systematically assaulted and at no time uh, had he uh, in any way uh, indulged in violence. The fact that the police has arrested him uh, um, on a merely a complaint made to them uh, suggests that the police have not even prepared to or don't even think it uh, necessary to undergo or, or, or carry out an initial investigation to see whether the complaint is in fact true.